In this video, we review geo redundancy for Azure standard file shares with large file support enabled. Hello everyone, I'm Travis and this is Threltos. Microsoft recently announced geo redundancy for standard file shares in Azure. Coming up, we review why that's important and why we should or shouldn't use them for some file shares, including FS logics. Then we take a look at how it works. Before that, you know the drill. Please like, subscribe, share with a friend, and click the bell icon for notifications of new content. Check out my courses on Azure Virtual Desktop, Hybrid Identities with Windows AD and Antra ID, and Windows 365 with Intune Management. The links are below. And thank you, channel members. Your support is appreciated. Okay, let's get started. We have a lot of options for storing data in Azure. But for this video, we're talking about SMB file shares. That's the type of share we've used in a Windows network for many years. One option for hosting SMB file shares in Azure is the Azure File Standard Storage Account. Standard has geo redundancy built in, GRS or GZRS storage. This allows us to replicate a copy of the data to a second region. The problem is standard file shares only support up to 1000 input outputs per second or IOPS and 60 megabits per second of throughput. That's not enough IOPS for an active file share like what we'd use with FS Logics. However, there is an option to enable large file support on a standard file share. By enabling large file support, we get an IOPS increase to 20,000 and 150 times increase to the storage account throughput limit. In addition, Azure Premium File Shares have capacity, IOPS, and throughput limits well beyond an Azure Standard File Share. For even more performance, we have Azure NetApp Files. Azure NetApp Files performance scales even further than Azure Premium Files. Here's the issue. Previously, the only Azure file shares that supported geo-replication were Azure Files Standard without large file support and Azure NetApp Files. Azure Standard with large file support and Azure Files Premium did not support GRS or GZRS storage accounts. With the latest announcement, we can now use geo-replicated file shares with an Azure Standard storage account that has large file support enabled. That means Azure file shares, including small or some medium AVD shares used for FS logics, can replicate files to a secondary region. Until now, Azure NetApp Files was the only high performance option for geo replicated file shares. I did qualify the previous statement with small and medium AVD deployments. A standard storage account performance limits, even with large file support enabled, are not enough for active, medium, or large file shares. I generally don't recommend standard file shares for most AVD deployments, even with large file support enabled. The IOPS just aren't sufficient. If you have a large AVD deployment or other large active file share and need geo-replication, Azure NetApp Files may be the best bet. Watch the performance metrics on all storage accounts and verify the share isn't hitting a bottleneck. Coming up, we're going to deploy a geo-replicated file share. Before we can do that, we have to register the feature on the subscription. Also, this feature is not GA in all regions. Check the link below to see the regions that support geo-replication with large file support enabled. Let's jump into the portal and get started. Here we are in the Azure portal. We'll start by registering the feature. Although the feature is GA in most regions, it's still in preview in others. I'll include a link to that information below. As of now, we still need to register this feature on the subscription before we can use it. Let's go to the subscription we're adding the storage account to. From here, we'll go to preview features and change the filter by type to Microsoft.Storage. Within the Microsoft Storage provider, look for Azure Files Geo Redundancy for Large File Shares. There it is. We'll select that and register. Now, if we go back and find it in the list, it shows that it's registered. Now that it's registered on the subscription, we can use the feature. Next, we'll create a standard storage account that supports geo replication and large files. I need to note that it took about 30 minutes between when I registered the feature and when I was able to complete the following steps. If the option to enable large file support is not available, make sure the feature is registered on the subscription you're using 
and give it some time. Let's go to Storage Accounts and create a new one. We'll click Create. Make sure the correct subscription and resource group is selected or create a new resource group. We'll give the storage account a name. And remember, that has to be globally unique. Make sure to select a supported region. For this example, Central US is GA. Under Performance, if we select Premium, we'll select File Shares. The only option available is LRS. Let's go back to Standard. With Standard selected, we have the option for Local Redundant Storage, Geo Redundant Storage, Zone Redundant Storage, and Geo Zone Redundant Storage. For this example, I'll select Geo Redundant Storage. We'll go Next. And if we scroll all the way to the bottom, we have the option to enable large file shares. Before we registered this feature, this option was not available when selecting GRS or GZRS. You can continue and add the other settings as needed. For this example, I'm going to go to Review and Create. And we'll create the storage account. We'll give it a minute to finish. That completed, we'll go to the resource. And now we have a standard geo-redundant storage account that has large file shares enabled. That's how you create a new storage account. What if we have an existing standard Azure file share that we want to change from LRS to globally replicated storage? I'm going to show you how to change it, but before I do that, please back up existing workloads and make sure you test it thoroughly before you do this in a production environment. Okay, now that I got that over, let's go to an existing storage account. Here we are, we have a standard LRS storage account with large file shares enabled. If we go to redundancy under data management, we have the option to change to GRS, read access GRS, or ZRS. Geo-replicated zonal redundant storage isn't available, but we could change it to ZRS and then come back and change that to geo-replicated ZRS. It can take up to 72 hours to move storage to ZRS. For this example, we'll select geo-redundant storage and save to continue. This change might take a few minutes to finish, but in this case, it happened very quickly, probably because there's no data. Now under redundancy, it shows we changed the storage account to geo-redundant storage. The data location shows the primary where we deployed the storage account to and the secondary paired region. If we go to overview, Refresh, and now it shows the performance is standard, replication is geo-redundant storage, and large file share is enabled. That is how to create or change to a geo-replicated standard Azure file share in Azure. I hope that helps you better understand how to enable geo-replicated standard Azure file shares with large file support enabled. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.